Hello and welcome to another Replica Reviews video. Today we're looking at the ASG Dan Wesson. This particular model is the 6 inch nickel plated version. Uh, it comes in at just over 298mm so it's quite a long gun. Weighs 1014 grams. that's just over a kilogram so that's quite a weighty pistol. Uh, it fires the 4.5mm BB at a claimed 426 FPS. So, the packaging it comes in is the cardboard cover here, and then the rest of it is in polystyrene. So, we'll take this off and move on to the contents of the box. First thing you notice when we open this up is that we have the ASG manual here. This is one of the better manuals that I've come across. It's got everything from what all the different parts are in the gun. Uh, it gives a brief history of where the real gun comes from as well. It's got all of the safety features here, you know, the uh, the warnings and, you know, don't shoot at people, don't put it in public. Uh, there's even a brilliant point here, don't hold the weapon sideways as if, you know, you're copying some kind of gangster film because apparently the hop-up will make it curve off and, uh, so, and hit somebody. I thought that was quite a neat feature, I haven't seen that in there before. Uh, an interesting one here is it also says don't disassemble, which is quite uh, ironic seeing as it's actually given you a blown down diagram at the back of the manual telling you how to disassemble it. Next thing we move on to in the middle here just briefly is how to load the shells into the gun and also how to load the CO2 and then finally as I said earlier we have the blow down diagram it shows all the individual components as if it's been stripped down. If this picture here isn't big enough for anybody that wants to strip this gun down you can visit the ASG website and there is a PDF version available. So less of the boring stuff and we'll move on to the gun itself. Now, first thing you notice when you open this package is it's full of accessories to uh, to aid loading the gun and just making it look really cool. First thing I'm going to mention is the metal rail that comes with this gun. If you remove the rear sights, I won't do it in this video, maybe in a later video, but if you remove the rear sights, you can slide the rail on using the rails provided and then you can mount optics, lasers, you know, anything that you want to add on there. To tighten it up when it's on the rail, you've got these two grub screws here and you use the supplied allen key, as you can see it's in my hand here, just to tighten these two grub screws up just to hold the rail in place and to stop it from sliding around. Now this brings me on beautifully to my next point. The supplied allen key, although it's brilliant for what it's designed for, is also excellent at helping you remove BBs from the rounds here. Now as you can see here, the the so-called magazine on this gun is actually six shells. Now they're fully machined out to be the same size as the rounds that go through the real Dan Wesson. Uh, and also has Dan Wesson engraved on the bottom. If you want to check that out, if you look at our video, uh, look at our pictures on our uh, website, then you'll see that better. Now, to load BBs into the shells, you get a little .177 and push it in the front until you hear a little click and it's left positively clicked in. You know, it's perfectly flush with the shell. Now when the CO2 gets low, you'll notice that um, it has a habit of not being able to push the pellets out. So if you put the Allen key in and then push it out like so, it just pops them out for you. Now also supplied in the box is the speed loader. This is a really useful tool to have. To load it, you just put the shells in the speed loader like so, and then push it down and cock it until it clicks and locks in place. It's worth mentioning at this point that the speed loader is all plastic, so I'm not gonna hold my hopes up that this lasts for a long time. To lock the rounds in place, you push it in, twist it until you hear a click, and now the rounds are locked fully in place. They're not gonna fall out and then you can just put your pellets in individually and then when you're done you can load them into the chamber so only thing left to cover now is the revolver itself now first thing you'll notice with this is it is a very very attractive looking uh, air gun it's full metal on the front here and the grip is a very 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 high quality ABS plastic or polymer grip with almost like a rubber coating on it, it's really nice. You also get this really, really nice Dan Wesson button, as I call it, 
on the grip. I think it's a really nice feature. I think it looks really, really, really good. Um, so we'll move on to the features of the gun. Most of the features here are on here. To activate your safety, you push it back like so. This stops you from firing and from cocking the hammer. If you put it back onto fire, you can either fire double action, like so, or you can cock the hammer back individually and fire it off single action. Now I think if you're firing a revolver like this, it's only fair to fire it in single action. I think it's far more satisfying cocking the hammer back each time and firing it like so. Another really neat feature on this gun is if you push this forward, you can bring the chamber out like so. As you can see, this is where the shells go. Perfect time to show you that the speed loader here, you put your rounds in like so, push it down a bit, and as you can see there, it popped like that. Move it away, and we've now got a fully loaded chamber. Now, to me, this is the most realistic gun on the market. I mean, it doesn't get much more realistic than a full chamber there. If you look from the front, you can also see where the rounds are inside. And you can also see, at this point, that this is a recessed barrel. The actual 4.5mm barrel is actually back in there, so it adds to realism there. You can see on the front here, it's got this gorgeous Dan Wesson logos. They are uh, etched onto the front here. Now, for the sake of the review, I have kept the free jewel sticker on. Being a European gun, it does have to come with this. Um, I will take it off after the review, but just for the sake of the review and keeping the peace, I've kept it on. Moving the gun over, you'll notice that much is the same as the other side. You don't have any of your safety catch or anything like here. But you do have the ASG logo here. It's hard to do this without uh, getting glare on it, I do apologise. But the ASG logo here, the F for the German market, and then just calibre sizes and the fact that it's a BB firing pistol. You'll also see that you get the logos on the front here. And you'll also notice that on the front blade of the foresight, it has a little red dot. That makes targeting it in really easy. As you can see, you can still see it there. Moving on, the rear sight here is fully adjustable. You can see that you have a screw here to check to change elevation and a screw here just to change for windage. Other features on this gun are, as I said, the plastic um, pistol grip here. To get to your CO2, open it up like so. CO2 goes in here. It's worth mentioning, although this is parts of the gun that you wouldn't normally see, they've still kept the finish of this absolutely astonishing. It's really good quality. It's all metal inside here. You can get to your seals as well, so that adds for easy maintenance. You can just see the green seal down the bottom there. The only issue I have is the CO2 tab, as I call it. This is a little thing that you have to turn to uh, to load the CO2 and tighten it in. It's plastic, so I'm not quite sure how long that's going to last for. But I would have preferred to have seen that being metal. But, you know, most companies do it um, with a plastic tab. So I can't really fault them too much there. Once you've loaded it in, you just close it in, click like so, and it's back in place. Absolutely perfect. This gun fires at a claimed 426 FPS. How true this is, I don't know. Um, you know, I will get it through a chronograph at some point just to uh, show you guys. But once you finish shooting, removing this is as easy as just tipping them out. It does come with the rod here, which gives the, the option anybody that fires rear revolvers would know. If you press that in, it pushes the cartridges out and then they fall. Obviously, being an air pistol, you can literally dump them out into your hand like so and then bin them off somewhere else. It's worth mentioning on here, the only fault I could find with the finish, really, was on this cylinder here. It's obviously been CNC laved um, and milled down at some point. But there's a lot of grooves on here. You can actually run your finger over and it feels very, very bumpy. Obviously, the tool hasn't been set up right. And, uh, you know, you can feel whether it wasn't machined properly. It was machined too quickly. This was the only fault I could find with the pistol. Um, you can pick this gun up anywhere from about £108 upwards. I know it retails roughly for about £140 here in the UK. Uh, 
that may change on the continent and also in America and Canada. Now for that you get a superb gun. You can buy the 8 inch version um, which is really really high quality. It's also worth mentioning if you actually go direct to a gunsmith uh, like what I do you can order the 6 inch version in black uh, unlike many shops on the internet they don't supply it in the black you can also get the 8 inch in this nickel finish as well now most places only do it in black so if you go direct to your, uh, to your local gunsmith as long as they supply ASG products you might be able to get a really nice almost custom made gun for you if you go for one of the rarer combinations uh, overall I think this is a superb gun uh, we'll give it a firing review to come soon, a bit of a shooting test and whatnot. It's probably worth mentioning at this point, we have a new website that's now up and running, so feel free to check that out, comment, you know, rate, let us know what you think of it. Again, with this video, if you've got any questions, queries, um, feel free to put them in the comment box below. We always try and answer them as quick and as honest as we can. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, we're trying to get better guns and better things for the channel, so keep your eyes peeled. So, thank you for watching another Replica Reviews video, and this is the Dan Wesson 6-inch.